One heat left to decide a champion. It's the men's final. Gabriel Medina versus Italo Ferreira. Medina now number eight in the world. Italo number six on the Jeep leaderboard. Making up some crucial ground in the world title race. It's time flies in the final. Medina and Italo Ferreira just positioning out there. Let's see if Italo can get this thing started. Lip on the head. He emerges out of the white water. He'll roll right past Medina. All focus on the lip line. Weightless on the drop. Stomps it coming around the corner. Quick carve right of the pocket. And now Italo, big re-entry, right off the lip. Wide open, open face, crushes it there. Driving through that backhand wrap, Ferreira, big finishing move down the line. He's created some space. Wow. One more big fan <laughs> on a meaty section. And Ferreira putting pressure on Medina on his opener. That's kind of where you want to start a final. Um, you know, Gabriel Medina was playing the cat and mouse game up the point. Paddled Italo way up there thinking, you know what, I'm going to send him up there. I'm going to double back, which he did. Caught two little ways, didn't stand up. So it sort of kept that priority neutral. I mean, how would you feel after you started off that with the ultimate battler and you get the best of him? It's got to be an amazing feeling. But I want to know how his legs are feeling. Nick guy has just been going solid for days on end. Free surfs. He's, I mean, he's just got to be feeling the fatigue, but it just doesn't look like it. We're right there with you, Strider. He puts so much intensity into every single ride as we go back to this opener <laughs> putts. Look at all the drive he had before that yeah, first turn. He almost uh, rode straight over Gabriel Medina as well. A late takeoff. A couple of good turns to get things going. Now he hits the gas. Coming around this section, what's he got for us? Straight up into the left. Beautiful speed check there. Absolutely flying down the line. Big snap again. Just milking his way down through the inside. Points all the way through and then finishes with a bang. Vertical snap to tail tapping drop. Beautiful combo to finish off. So, Italo Ferreira picked an absolute beauty. This is what we call a J-Bay special where it is just your board is absolutely humming. Going about as fast as you can go after this turn here. I mean, I don't think that board's gone as fast as it is right now and Italo is still managing to hook into his maneuvers and look confident and look comfortable. A lot of the times you've got to wipe off a little bit of speed to produce those big turns, not Italo Ferreira, and then finishes with a beautiful maneuver. Right at the end, comes around and gets that board nice and vertical. Free falls out of the sky. He's got that on lock as he kicks out of wave number one. What a way to start for Italo Ferreira. And put him in a combo situation, and even then you're not comfortable. <laughs> Time for Medina to answer. The true opener for Gabriel in the final, belts that first section. Throws Ooh. it away on the second opportunity. So right when it looked like he was gonna unload an answer to Italo, Ferrer will now try to take apart the paddle battle for priority. Sometimes one field board feels better than the other, but they look exactly the same. Timmy is just an artist in regards to his shaping. He has uh, put together some great equipment for Italo. Thank you so much, Pete. We're seeing that Timmy in motion again. Ferreira, clean off the top, driving through that top turn and trying to connect it all the way through. Hard off the bottom and a backhand car throwing some water to the sky. Searing cutback again for Ferreira. Jams it. Oh. Let's go of the finish this time. Everyone feels that on the beach. This was the size of the way that Italo took off on it and kind of, uh, well, a little bit sleepy at the start. I mean, it just looks two different days almost, two different serve breaks. Uh, Gabriel Medina's way of double in size with a bit more drama involved. Italo milking it through the inside. I mean, surfed it incredibly well. Don't get me wrong, taking nothing away from the talent of Italo Ferreira, but when it comes down to these two guys going head to head, it's going to come down to the wave. The wave is going to be the difference. Italo needed to finish that off. Snapped it. Free fall drop and watch the wind just tweak the board away from his foot. So he just did. a 5.5 for Italo trying to punch through with this whitewater takeoff is Bettina and opting out immediately. So he had a little bit of room to move out there to see if he wanted to commit to that wave. And just so many opportunities out there for Gabriel to choose from. Medina taking off with some speed. 
Big section breaking at his heels. Now going to the lift line and crushes it. Avoiding that wild lift line again. Searing into his second carve. Passing Italo a little bit behind the wedge, which could be a good thing. Big vertical airdrops. Right into a oh, heavy finishing wow. move. Medina hangs on. <laughs> Strider, that was one of the best backhand turns I've seen completed at Jeffreys Bay. Holy smokes, the guy is on fuego right there. The boys loved it from the peanut gallery down the line here. Let me tell you, you can see that set coming. I watched him struggling to that first one, kick out thinking, what is going on? And then he ends up on that wave. What a talent that guy has. Gabriel Medina and Italo, what a clash. This is their first final that they've ever had together as we rewind the tape. Yeah, you know what? If Italo had awaited, this could have been his wave because Gabriel used that priority on the on the first one. Massive opening maneuver. You can see the solid size of this wave. Sneaks under the lip and you can see the crease now starting to form in this wave. Gabriel catches a little bit of a rail, but then watch how it offers him this little peak situation. Snaps it off the top, free four drop, and then right here. That's about as radical as you're going to see as a finishing maneuver for Gabriel Medina. 9.10 for Idlo Ferreira. I'm not surprised if this is going to be a 10. Me wrong, but when you run into the likes of Kelly, Andy, Mick, Joel, I mean, that's why they haven't won so much here. As we go back to live action, Medina with a big power snap to start, backhand flow. And he's out of there. Didn't like the rest of that one running through and still has 19.50 to go. So as you can see out the back, you see those lines coming. They're coming, baby. We got a building swell, rising tide. What do we got? Thank you, Strider. Italo rolls in, beautiful off the bottom. Classic hack to start. This one will set him up to fade this potential double up into the J-Bay racetrack. Belts it off the lip, perfect control. Super connected in between maneuvers. Italo with the lift to hit, coils up and drills it. I'm trying to, you know, just digest that wave. Some great surfing uh, was done on it. And great wave selection as well. Picking that first wave, looked like a big set of waves, but the, the other ones didn't really form that well. So Italo Ferreira picking the eyes out of it. This is what he needs to do. Now he comes through the inside. You can see that wave starting to stand up as it unloads through this inside impossible section. Italo connecting nicely. Waiting for it. Taps the rail and what a maneuver. That Medina quick to answer. Up and out. He'll hold his position with 9.30 to go. Medina's going to be very selective. It might come down to maybe one more big set opportunity. Got that maneuver down pad and out the back. A big power hack from Medina. Ton of water moving on that last hack as well. Great start for the two-time world champ, Medina. Big section to fight through, and it takes him down. A tough fall for Medina, knowing that he's chasing Italo now with 8.25 remaining. Let's have a look at what happened here with Gabriel Joe as he draws off the bottom. Beautiful first maneuver. And this is the turn here I love. Watch the extension of the body right there, just extending that back leg and putting so much power into it. All the hard work done. Now he hits that oncoming section and just didn't quite get the, the, the resistance that he was looking for. You can see how the board kind of doesn't really connect with the lip, sort of underneath it almost. I think he's expecting a little bit more pushback from the lip, but didn't give it to him. He goes down. Unfortunate there for Gabriel. Looked like a good wave. He swept the European leg, and he's also a pipe master. Medina hard off the bottom. Gets that jam on the shoulder, and now the wall's opening up. Big flow. Pulls it perfectly. Nice, healthy-looking backhand carve. Medina under the lip. Looking solid. Back to the lip line to connect one more time. Looks like he wants to pull in. It's wide open. Beats that section. Gabriel Medina with an unbelievable barrel through supers. Strider Wazalewski, that was incredible. You got to be kidding me. What a specimen. This guy is in, just an amazing conductor of the orchestra of the ocean. I just can't even believe what this guy's putting together right now. That was amazing. That thing 
funneled out so hard, and when he pulled up into the ball, grabbing the rail, just speed lining, that was just incredible to thread the needle like that. That was, wow! You gotta get two tens to beat this guy, and even then he's gonna come back and even that up. And then it's come, gonna come down to the third scoring ride, and he's gonna get that as well. Let's have a look, first, what, first maneuver, big snap under the left. This is what I like, I love that maneuver right there, just that slip line, speed float, the snap, what a combo. And again, look how quick the transition is between those turns. Upside down under the lip again. Free falls down. Now he starts to reassess the situation. What am I going to do? Of course I'm going to get the best backhand tube the entire event and come flying out the end. I'm, I'm kind of upset now they didn't give him the 10 for that. <laughs> There's been a few thrown, 977 on the average. Look at the turns though, Joe. Look at the, pos the body position, the speed. You know, when you're going that fast, you kind of have to pull back a little bit. Not this guy. This guy just goes, you know what? I'm going to go upside down with all that speed. I'm going to show exactly what I've got. And i uh, tell you what, what he's got is uh, some incredible riding here. And again, grabs a rail, pulls into the bow. One of the better tubes we've seen this event on his backhand. You know, Italo thought he had it. Started the heat with a 9.10 and now finds himself... With one minute to go, needing two new waves. 19.5 required by Italo Ferreira. And if he talks to Judge 5, he's had a perfect heat. Judge 5 <laughs> has two tens thrown, and why not celebrate Switchfoot to show how insane you are with your balance and technique in the heat of competition to celebrate with one of the most classic victory laps we've seen. Multiple maneuvers, and he will celebrate as everybody at Jeffreys Bay is on their feet and Charlie Medina is so proud of his boy. As we get close to the countdown, we'll go ahead and make it official. Gabriel Medina, the first goofy foot to win at J-Bay since 1984, has taken out the Corona Open J-Bay. Unbelievable stuff, Charlie. Go and get in that water. Dive in, I want to see it. That was uh, incredible stuff there from Gabriel Medina. We knew that, that it was going to take two incredible waves to beat this guy and even then you don't feel like you've got a shot Joe. i don't know what you've got to do to to take him out